wanting to make this video. I found some like silly bands at a thrift store. I wanted to open them up on camera and hopefully give you a little wave of nostalgia. And like, they were only 50 cents at the thrift. And they're like packaged too, that's pretty crazy. Oh wait, do they have a little... Oh. Apparently this was made in, I think, 2001, Christian Art Gifts. Um, interesting that it's Christian. This also, this image right here, this reminds me of the Polly Pocket game that I used to play, the web game. I used, I used to play it a lot. And there's a lot in here, and there's a lot of different ones. So let's see. Okay, we got a little hat. Always were like so bumpy and lumpy because of the shapes. Oh, we have an, this is another hat. We have multiple hats. Oh, this is a bird. And we have another hat. So let's put those on. And we have a crown. Oh, wow, we have a lot of crowns actually. We have like okay, three different crowns. And yeah, I. I remember really liking these, but like, why did we even like these? It's so weird. Like, look at that. It looks like ramen noodles on my wrists. Okay, we have hearts. We have a few different hearts. And like, you would get these for, for like your friends and just all sorts of stuff. I don't know, it was cool. Um, okay, these ones are a little like wrinkled, so let's try to like un... I think this I think this one is a flower. It just needs to like it's just a little like wrinkled all over the place. Oh. Ah, there you go. See that? It's a little flower. And this one What is this supposed to be? Oh I is that a girl? She's a little interesting looking, but okay. And we have more. We've got another flower. Uh, let me put the flower on. And we have, what is this? This is a musical note. Look at that, a musical note. I love how like terrible these things keep their shape. We have more girls. Very interesting looking females. I think it's supposed to be her, but the silhouette's a little funky. Oh, then we've got some of the crosses. Let's try and get those because they're all stuck together. Cross, cross. It was just Easter and Transvisibility Day on the same day. Look at my wrist. Circulation. Okay. What is that? What is this? Oh my gosh. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly like this. <laughs> I thought it was like a little cloud man. Like it was a cloud and those were his little feet. Okay, we, we have another flower, and we have, oh, my light turned off, that's sad, and we have two, um, musical notes, that's what they're called. So there's my wrist. <laughs> Is that not nostalgic? This feels terrible. I do not like it. Let's try and take some of these off. Yeah. How cute though, right? 
trading these with your friends and like getting them in all different shapes and stuff like that. I definitely feel like my hand is starting to ache a little bit because of how many are on me. Did you guys have like a favorite one? I think I really liked anything that was like animal themed. I really liked the animal ones. But I've never really been into jewelry. always had this fear and I've gotten better at it now that I'm older but I had this fear of things not being able to come off like rings and stuff because I don't know if you know what a zap strap is or a zip tie but my dad worked in construction and he had this really heavy duty one and me being a dumb five year old wanted to play as a dog and put it around my neck anything about zap straps. Once you put them on, you cannot take them off. Um, it's a whole story, but it sounds like someone just took a piss. Was that my fridge? I think it was my refrigerator. Anyways, yeah, I almost died, but I didn't. still have more I wanted to show. Specifically, I was at the thrift the other day and I found some LPS accessories. I love LPS. I only have a few. I got these guys. These are my little guys. My boyfriend will not stop sending me Instagram reels. I think he sent me probably around 50 from like an hour ago to now. I was cooking dinner, but we watched them together, so I haven't seen any of them. It's like, like a little ritual. I send him TikToks, he sends me reels, and every so often, um, I'll watch all the reels, and then he'll watch all the TikToks. Anyways, so yeah, I have the little rhino. These are the new ones, so these are 7th gen. Um, uh, and I got these for Christmas from my older sister. Excuse my stitches, I'm really sorry. I hope that doesn't freak you out. These is a little oxalotl and a little lizard. I really love LPS, and I should note that everything that I have here today is stuff that I bought in the, like, recent, recently, or I was gifted. Uh, specifically these I were gifted, and a few other things, I think, but, um, yeah, I, I didn't have a lot of toys growing up. kind of just ended up lost and missing and I don't really know where a lot of the stuff that I used to play with went honestly though I didn't really have a lot um and if I wanted to play with toys I would go over to my friends houses and one of my friends had a lot of little pet shops and monster idols and we would play with those together and another one of my friends had uh poly pockets um and so I'd go over to her house to play poly pockets but like I don't have a lot from when I was a kid, from when I was a kid, like toys and stuff like that. Um, but I like collecting things, and I think because I never really got the chance to have these things as kids, it's just extra valuable to me to like have them as an adult. So I'm 21, and when I got these for Christmas, I almost cried. I mean, like, look at them, they're so cute. I 
I saw people making fun of him on Reddit. They said his forehead was too big. Rude. He's adorable. And the little chameleon. And look at, like, the details. Everything. Like, I'm so excited. I, I really want to buy more, but... Um, they're kind of expensive. But, yeah, these are my LPS that I, that I own right now. And I do want to buy, like, the older gens. My dress. very worn down. And it says this wild little thing. So that was the first LPS thing I ever got. And then I got my really adorable guys. I just love them so much. I think they're so cute. Oh, oh I think I was talking about some of my dreamies. My old dreamies um, from the older generations is the Persian cat and one of the deers. I love all of the deers, but there's like the lighter brown one. That's my favorite. I also really want this dragonfly. They're so cute. I love the dragonflies. I was on Facebook Marketplace, and it was like, oh look, there's LPS, like, it was still in the box, it was a dragonfly, and it was $15, I was like, I need this, I looked at the location, it's an hour and a half from me, why would you do that to me, Facebook Marketplace, I cannot drive an hour and a half to get LPS, even if I wanted to, anyways, but I was at the thrift store, and I finally found LPS accessories, they were $15, all of them, I bought a bunch of them, they're all around my house right now, but I grabbed a few of my favorites, and I bought them all for $7.50, because everything at the thrift was 50% off. Crazy, I know. This is one of the first things I bought. It's a little couch, and yeah, it says 2006, and look how well made it is. It's got a lot of details, the like little cushions, and don't mind this, this I think this is makeup, I promise. I'm a really nostalgic material. It's like bendy plastic. Weird, but yeah, I really like this. I got, look, this little, this little sand castle. And I think you're supposed to put the little paw, the little magnet here, and I just locked him in there forever, didn't I? saw the little hermit crab because you need one of their paws, one of their magnet paws, and I don't have it. Look. He came out. Look, he's a little hermit crab. And he's in the little sand castle. It's so cute. And I got this little stump. I really like it. I like it a lot. I like anything natural. The, like, style of LPS stuff is so nostalgic, too. Oh, yeah, look, look at that wiggly plastic. This is, like, hard plastic. Wiggly plastic. But they have such a distinct style. Like, this is so nostalgic looking for me. It's a little hay bale. And it's, 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 it's a 
more firm plastic. I also have this, which is like a little sign for like a little store LPS. Super dope. You can like stick it on the hay bale. Yeah. So yeah, that's some of my LPS accessories. I have more just scattered around the house. Um, those are some of my favorites though. I really like LPS and I really hope that I can grow my collection. Yeah. Um, lightly going off of LPS, I wanted to showcase my Webkins. So this is the first Webkins that I bought in the year of 2023. Did I buy it in 2023 or 2024? I forget, but I still have the little tag. How nostalgic is that? So yeah, he is in my little Webkins account. His name is Missing Poster. And just that, the fur of it. Oh my gosh, so freaking nostalgic. His little paw. Yes, his beady eyes. So cute. I look for Webkins every time I'm in the thrift store as well, and I've been actually really lucky. Um, and there's, I've even turned down some Webkins. Recently, there was a Webkins Hippo, which I regret. I wish I would have bought it. But it was nine dollars at the thrift store and there was a bulldog and it was only two maybe i should have bought them but i just i don't want like a lot of clutter for no reason but also i love webkins here are some of the web and webkins are pretty easily accessible nowadays they're still like new with tags you can get them easily for 20 bucks on ebay the, the most expensive part is the shipping generally but these are little kins and they're smaller than an average webkin. But they are webkins. Where is his paw? Here it is. And this is a little tree frog. So cute. And this, I believe they called them the orange clownfish. I think because I, or tomato clownfish, I think is what it was, yeah. Super cute. Still got those beady eyes. Look at that. These are my little kins. I didn't get these with a tag, but I got them nonetheless. And I got this dog, who I think is so nostalgic and so cute. Look at him. Once again, he's got the, the fur and, of course, the beady eyes. He's got his little nose and the Webkins logo. I don't play Webkins a lot. I play a lot of Tile Towers. I think I have like 30,000, what are they called, Kins Cash in Webkins, but it's just because I play Tile Towers on my phone at any given chance. Um, but other than that, I don't play a lot of Webkins. But the Pizza Plaza, Pizza Parlor game, you can only play it on the computer. It's so good. It is so good. It's so nostalgic. I do wish that they still had the couch loading screen and, and other parts of, of the old Webkins. I just that they changed it, but for the most part, the game is very similar, so highly recommend you check it out. I really enjoy playing Webkins. Um, I also play a lot of Neopets, but I don't have any physical collectibles of Neopets right now. I have another plushie. I collect plushies. I have a lot of plushies. They're all right there. I wish I could show you every single one of them, but they're all like specifically stacked on top of each other and organized and I didn't want to take it all down. I have to put it back up, but I have a lot of plushies. I grabbed this one. Um, it is Puss in Boots. Super cute. I bought him at the movie theaters. Look at his Diggy hair on it. It looks just like Diggy. Um, he's sleeping right now, but um, and it also has like a really weird fabric hat. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. No. Like felt, but anyways, when I was a kid, I used to watch um, Scared Shrekless. I loved Scared Shrekless, and also I had a crush on Arthur from Shrek the Third, I do believe. So yeah, I wanted to show it because I just it reminded me of Scared Shrekless, and I loved Scared Shrekless a lot. I'm so excited, guys! It is almost summerween. I love horror movies. I love, 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 love horror movies. Um, which is really funny because 
was a kid, I was scared of everything, like, my siblings would watch scary movies like Dawn of the Dead and uh, The Walking Dead, and my brothers would play Call of Duty Zombies. I was really scared of zombies. For a long time, I couldn't even play Minecraft, not on Peaceful, because I was so scared of zombies. But, um, yeah, I, I was never allowed to watch with them because it was scary and I was young. Um, and nowadays, though, I... And, like, if I did watch it with them, I would, and, or, like, played zombies on Call of Duty, um, I would, like, have nightmares and cry myself to sleep because I was so scared, but I just wanted to be included. And, yeah, I love horror movies, though. Seriously, like, ah, I love horror movies. Um, so I'm really excited to get to watch a lot of horror movies. And maybe I'll rewatch watch Scared Checklist because it's a goodie. Kind of like a plushie. It's a Furby. I have Furbaka. His batteries are not in because he's very annoying. Um, but he, he's super cute when his batteries are in and his eyes light up. I really want a 2005 Furby with their little feet. They have legs. I want a 2005 Furby so badly. Dream. Dreamy is a 2005 Furby with the little legs. Anyways, this is for Baka, which I think is such a cute thing. He has fluff in his hair. He has a little bag. Um, it's not a very good bag. It doesn't have a other side, but it's just for show. And, yeah, he's got his little mouth, his little tongue. He shuts his eyes and stuff. I love Furbies. I had a Furby when I was a kid, and I killed it on New Year's Eve when I put it next to a speaker while I was blaring music. And my Furby died, but this is a different Furby. <laughs> he was alive and well. He just doesn't have batteries and to prevent him from talking non-stop. But yeah, look at their ears. So cute. And they move them and they wiggle. And he's got his little toes. Super cute as well. And a little, little Star Wars thing. I'm actually not a huge Star Wars fan. Just never really got into it. And I really like the new movies purely because they're a train wreck and it's just kind of fun to watch, you know, and not be a part of the fandom. And also, Adam Driver is in fact hot. Anyways, that's my Furby. Um, what do I want to show next? I think what I want to show next is this. This box. Some of my stickers. It also has temporary tattoos. Super nostalgic as well. Minecraft temporary tattoos. And I just have all sorts of stickers in here. I love Mario Kart. I love Mario in general. I have so many fond memories of going to Best Buy and they would have a Nintendo DS there. And I want a Nintendo DS so bad. But anyways, there's a Nintendo DS there and like they would be like strapped in so no one could steal it but you could play with it. And I would play Mario a lot. And I had a Nintendo DS when I was in fourth grade. And my brother was in drama class because he was in a play after school and I put my Nintendo DS down and I forgot it at the school and I remember we got into the car and immediately I was like, Mom, my Nintendo DS. I went right back inside and I asked the vice principal if anyone, or like whoever was at the desk, if anyone had like left a Nintendo DS and they said no and I looked where I put it, someone stole it and that was such a sad moment for me. I'm still sad thinking about it. But yeah, I really want to play New Leaf. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. But anyways, yeah, I've got, I've got, I do have Mandalorian stickers in here as well because I do like Grogu. He's cute. And I, I have some Sesame Street stickers. They say like, good job, fantastic, stuff like that, which is cute. And oh, I have these little, these, this, you see that? It's one of those things that scratches and it has rainbows underneath. And I've got some Animal Crossing stickers, Pride and Prejudice, little kitties. My phone is very angry at me because apparently I do not have storage, but I love stickers. I've always loved stickers. I always wanted stickers as a kid and I never got any. And now I buy a thousand. Also, I have stickers. I, I sell stickers if you want to buy a sticker from me that I designed. Go check my Ko-Fi shop. Um, what else? 
did I want to show? I think there was really only one more thing, actually. Uh, I also like to buy calico critters. These are my recent, most recent buys from calico. I got them from calico critters. I love their, their little fur. It reminds me of Webkin. And yeah, these little guys. He's it's like a little train and he pushes him. I got them on sale for $9. Aren't they adorable? Super cute. I seriously love calico critters. Um, I also brought some Sailor Moon stuff. I got this one from Nick. I forget where he got this from. Uh, and then this one I got from a little gumball machine. And no regrets is uh, Sailor uh, Venus. So freaking cute. So freaking cool. Um, I also love Sailor Moon. And I also, I did want to open these. They are, I got them for Christmas, and they're pens, and they smell apparently. Uh, I guess I won't open them this time, but um, I got them for Christmas, that's why they're Christmas themed, but uh, I loved smelly pens as a kid. I loved uh, smelly markers and um, and those, uh, those pencil pencils, you know, the pencils that like had the bark that smelled on them and they came in little dupes. I miss those as well, but oh, and I wanted to show you my switch, because I made it Sailor Moon themed, you see? Pretty gosh darn cool. This is my switch. Don't mind the bubbles and all the fingy prints. Um, and on here I have Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, some Mario games, um, Lord Legend of Zelda, lots of fun stuff. Isn't it so cute though? I seriously love my Switch, cause yeah, oh and Nick gave me these, he bought me these controllers for Christmas. So nice of him, they're $100 for two controllers. No. But nonetheless, um, my foot is so asleep, it's like painful. Uh, okay, I love you guys very much, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you collect, or what you collected as a kid, or what you wanted as a kid, or anything like that. And yeah. Okay, bye guys, I'll see you later.